let's just watch her. She's had a play. We've been up and down the stairs. Mummy's hoovered the stairs. There's a lot of difficulty because she kept getting on each chair as I was doing it. And now um, she's come for a lays down with her two, her two new fish, her grey one and her um, orange browny coloured one. And she's got them right under her paw. Look, she they're not that big, but um, I don't want to move them because she's happy with them. They're not that big, they're about as big as the dolphin here, but um, she plays with the dolphin and she carries the dolphin around in her mouth. But these two other fishies, one of which I gave her yesterday, one I gave her this morning, and she's got one for tomorrow. Um, they've got a bit of catnip in and she loves them. She, um, you can see she's got a paw on them and what she's done, what she does do is um, with the orangey one, she's been lying her head on it and falling fast asleep. Harriet, are you having a good wash? You've got a new collar to go on later, a nice bass with your mousse, a nice brush with the furminator and um, your soft brush, your new collar on and you'll be like a new teenager. Seeker, this is your little niece, look at her, she's got no shame. She's washing the nether regions. Doesn't care about who sees what. Waiting for her to put her head on before she can go to sleep. Oh, Harriet, when you get that catio, it's going to be absolutely lovely for you, isn't it? So what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just, um, I'm on my iPad and I'm looking at a few local shelters where they've got, um, you know, they've got cats who need homes and they'll give you a little bit of information about the the you know the personality of the cat and whether they'd be happy to be in a home with other cats or with dogs or with kids and they give you a little bit of info now you all know that harriet she's been with me for how long you've been with mummy now Seems like a lifetime. It's it's got to be nearly twice. She's nearly a year old now. So um, she's been with mummy, you know, since she was weeks old. And you've all seen her grow from a little tiny teacup kitten to the beautiful girl that she now is. But what you've also seen is something of her character and she is a character she's very at the start she was very clinging i could i couldn't even go i mean even now if i go if i don't close the door of the bathroom and ignore her meows she'll be there jumping on my lap she's very um territorial where i'm concerned i'm her mom and um and she loves me and i love her i'm not sure how she's going to be about sharing her home and space sharing her mummy sharing her brothers and sisters um i really don't i don't know how she's going to be human brother and sister brothers and sisters I don't know how she's going to do. 
um, I'd like to think that she would welcome another cat. Would you like, would you like another cat to play with? What do you think, Elliot? We're going to have to choose very carefully, I think, so that you're both happy. That's the important thing. If I get it, I get another cat. Because there's going to be lots of room for you to play. You're going to, what Mummy was thinking of doing was getting um, uh, a sort of extension on the back, a little extension, which would have cost a lot of money. The catio now is taking precedence. It's going to cost a lot less, but um, it's not going to um, not going to add value to the house, and it's it, it's not going to be for people to go and sit in and have a coffee. Well, I can go in there for my coffee and put. Um, I'm going to put a deck chair in there and a couple of trees. Would you like a couple of trees? Because it's a big, big catio. It's, um, I can't remember what it is. Is it six by eight by something? So it's a big catio anyway. And it says, you know, two or three cats are going to play, have a lot of space and play very happily in there. So it seems a bit selfish just to have it for you, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Are you watching Mummy talk? And listening. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know I'm talking about you again? Do you? So we're just waiting on a visitor. Um, and we'll have coffee, then it gets the cake. And then after that, Mummy's got to, I'm late getting in the shower, I've got to jump in the shower and make myself presentable. I need to come on and do another video. I'm sorry I've been remiss, but I know that a lot of you like the Harriet videos. And she likes being on camera. She really is a little star, aren't you? Harriet Audrey Hepburn Park. Look at that big bottom. That needs the Ferminator on it. Do 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 do. You've left all your fish, you've left your dolphin, you've left your two other fish, you've left, left your snake. I'm trying very hard not to leave too many toys out now. She's got a box full over there, which I keep the box lid closed, a cushion on top because she knows how to open it. Um, and I, I'm trying just to keep no more than four, four toys out in this room and in the other sitting room. She doesn't need more than four toys out and she won't play with more than four. Um, but that's enough to keep her occupied. So it's now just after 10 o'clock, I think. And we've been up, we were late this morning. We were up about five and everything's done in the house that needs to be done, apart from the windows, because I'm not climbing up there, I'm not risking any more fractures. Um, it's just not worth it. So, as I say, we're just waiting for Harriet's brother to come. And she'll get down off this bed and she'll run underneath it, won't you? Because you think he's the vet transport. And he is. You're going to be going to the vet in another couple of weeks for a checkup, Just to make sure your engine's running properly. So, as you can see, she's falling asleep now. Trying hard not to. But she's had five hours of um, play. She'll sleep, probably nap for an hour or so, and then it can be play again. And then of an evening, eight o'clock in the evening, 
she'll settle down. She has a, a really good routine now that she's in. So all, all that is to take into account and if I get, not when, if I get another cat. Everything's if with me at the moment. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm trying to be positive. All right, Harriet, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to make a coffee. And um, I'll leave you in peace for a bit. Catch you all later, everybody.